And man, I'm a little bit pissed off. I feel like I've been fooled. Is this the off season video? Are they trolling us right now? Guys, what I'm looking at right now, I need to change my prediction. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muscle Discord. And we're continuing on with our 2024 Mr. Olympia series, doing updates every day for you guys. And man, I'm a little bit pissed off. I feel like I've been fooled by Mr. Raphael Brandale. Raphael Brandale, however you want to say it. Now, in my predictions, I had him in my official prediction that I'm going to show you guys. I had Chris Cormier on, Ron Harris. Make sure you go check out that video. 2024 Mr. Olympia Predictions is the title. And you'll see all of our placings here where the men's open. We did 212 and Classic. But for my prediction, based off what I'm seeing, because that's all we can do, guys. Right? Just have fun with this. Look at the guys that are showing their physiques and assess how they're looking and make a, a your judgment call on it. And what I've been seeing from Raphael Brandale is that he's looking very, very impressive from the front. And I look back now, I'm like, wait a minute. That's all he's showing us is from the front. He's not showing us from the back. And I'm like, shit, did he just fool all of us? I'm, I'm not happy guys. All I have to say is what I'm about to show you guys here. And if you don't pay attention, you're going to miss it. If you don't wa watch all of his YouTube videos, you're going to miss it. And if us YouTubers and us that are in the media and we don't watch it, we're going to miss it and we can't report on it. So we can't give you guys up to date information, but I saw it. It didn't slip past me. So good. You're going to get here. A muscle discord. So you see, I have Rafael Brandale in fifth place, which is huge for him. That says a lot. Look at Jimmy Mentis, fifth place for Rafael. Vince Galante, fifth place. Ron Harris, right? Now, Ron, sorry, actually, Ron does not even have Rafael. So maybe he's going to be the. We'll see. We'll see. <sighs> Guys, Phil Klahar, veteran. Fifth place for Brandale. Chris Cormier, the real deal. Fifth place. We all have high hopes for Brandale. Now let me show you my secret weapon, what I found, what I uncovered here. Share my screen here, guys. This is... Sorry, guys. I pressed the wrong button. Go to the YouTube. That's what I meant to do. I don't have the high editing skills here, guys. I just do it off the cuff, right? Okay. So I was watching this video today. This is Brandale five days out from the Olympia, posing with Flex Lewis and his coach, Neil Hill. I'm like, oh, shit, this is pretty cool. We get to see this is up close and personal here. He's doing posing five days out. Okay. Now, is it five? I think it's five days out from Saturday. It's four days out from prejudging. So it's four days left here, guys. This is, there's not much time to do anything other than drops a little, little bit of water because he is very lean from the front. So let's go into this here. Let's play the clip. She squeezed it. So they're just talking about flexing and posing properly with Neil and, and Flex Lewis. 
And I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait, what? Roll the clip back. What did I just see there? I was like, what did I just see? That was fast. So let me, let me, uh, okay. They're like, oh, wait a minute. And I was like, wait a minute. What's that? Is this the off season video? Are they trolling us right now? Guys, what I'm looking at right now, I need to change my prediction after getting an inside look here into half a yell Brandales, hamstrings and glutes. The glutes aren't there. I'm pissed off. I'm changing my prediction. I'm removing him from fifth place and putting him into sixth place. And I'm putting Martin Fitzwater into that fifth place position. Why? The glutes aren't in. I'm sorry we have to be a stickler on the glutes. It's not what, like I want to look at them all the, the damn time. But that's what the judges are judging. They're judging the athlete's condition. How dialed in are they? How lean are they getting? And I don't see anything there, guys. I'll play it again. You can see he's flexing. The, they're talking about flexing the glutes, how to pose properly. It's really fast. If you don't pay attention, you're going to miss it. Right? So he's flexing, flexing. Nothing's happening back there, guys. How are you going to stand next to, you know, now, if he's standing next to Samson Dowd, that's not a big deal. I think he might be able to show some weaknesses on Samson Dowda, who I have in fourth place. I don't think he can pair with Andrew Jack, even though Andrew Jack doesn't have the most strided glutes. But in Texas, you could see him. And for Samson in France, you could kind of see him. But for Brandeis, you can't see him. So, and then you got Martin Fitzwater who's big, round, and full, shredded. The glutes are going to be in. We've already seen them. They're already done. That was like even further than five days out. We, we could see them. We could see them at two weeks out. So, and and Martin has the quads. He's got the sweep. Brandeo looks fantastic from the front. You know? I, like this is this is what's fooling a lot of people. I think is he looks he looks like the Mister Olympia champion standing right there. Like you can't deny that. That's why everyone is like fifth place, fifth, fifth. When he wasn't being talked about prior uh, to that about being in fifth place at the Olympia, but he's revealing his physique, and we're very impressed. And you know the quads look good, big and full, separated. Striated, vascular. Then we saw this video he posted here. Again, looks lean from the front, striated. Skin is still a little thick on the arms and some areas of his body is kind of weird. It's not like Ronnie Coleman and Phil Heath. Like you just, you just never, you're not there, man. Look at the arms there. It's just not the same as those guys this is not but he's you know his chest looks good so i guess people think he's shredded because his chest is shredded but the rest of his body isn't so that's that's a quick recap of making an adjustment on my predictions which i usually don't do but this is a highly competitive lineup that we have going in here to the olympia and you know, he look, he's big. The side, I thought the glutes were kind of in there, but then I'm like, wait, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. They're not in. It's like the Arnold Brazil all over again. So I still have high hopes for Brandeo because he looks good here. He looks good. The most muscular looks great. Like, look at this. It's, this is impressive. But Martin's impressive there too. Martin has an impressive side chest. And then you turn around, and then that's where I think Martin's going to beat him. And then I heard Jay Cutler talking about Martin because he had Martin on the show, so I'm sure Martin posed for Jay. 
And Jay was like, Martin Fitzwater is going to shock a lot of people. That's coming from Jay. Jay's not just going to say that on a show. So, guys, that's my update on Hafayao Brandeo. Leave a comment below. Where do you think he's going to place now after seeing this? Do you? Where do you have him? Leave a comment below. Leave me your top six in the comments. And then we can come back and you can rub it in my face if you get it right and I get it wrong. Okay? Hold me to it. Call me out after the Olympians. Hey, Matt, I posted in the comments that you got it wrong. All right? I'm going to hold you to that. Okay, guys. Remember to like the video, subscribe, leave your comments, leave your top six. We're getting close. Four days out. It's exciting, guys. It's exciting. This is going to be a great lineup. These guys all look great. I'm nitpicking. Okay. Raphael looks tremendous. Looks great. I'm a fan of his physique. But this is this is the elite. You got guys like Derek Lunsford and Heidi Schupan shredded, shredded from the back and from the front. Not just from the front. So you got to bring it if you want to compete with these guys. And I think he's lacking there from what I saw there in the posing room five days out. It's not there. It's not ready. He's not in shape back. He's not in shape in the back where that's his weakness. It's always been his weakness and it still looks like it's a weakness to me. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.